The US government has announced a $15 million reward for information leading to the arrest of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. The announcement came as the US Justice Department charged President Maduro and other senior Venezuelan officials with drug trafficking crimes. Washington accuses Maduro and his allies of converting Venezuela into a criminal enterprise and stealing billions of dollars. The charge is seen as an escalation of the US government's campaign to oust him. Here's US Attorney General William Barr. The indictment of Nicolas Maduro and his co-defendants alleges a conspiracy involving an extremely violent terrorist organization known as the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, the FARC, and an effort to flood the United States with cocaine. Well, DW South America correspondent Nicole Frelich has been following the story from the Colombian capital, Bogota. She explained the background to the U.S. charges. In a way, this was a very natural next step for the U.S. government to take, but an extremely important one nonetheless, because for the first time, Nicolas Maduro isn't only being called complicit, he's being identified as the leader of a drug cartel, a position from which he allegedly orchestrated large-scale drug shipments between Venezuela and the United States for 20 years. The U.S. don't seem too eager to get their hands dirty on all of this, so what they're likely seeking with this bounty is for members of Maduro's party and the military to to defect and have his support system crumble. That might allow Juan Guaido, the man who's widely regarded as Venezuela's legitimate president, to move in, seize power, extradite him to the United States, where he would then face justice.